That's all I needed if I watched a video like this 5 years ago. But unfortunately, I never got that opportunity. But you can. Hope you guys are doing great and so am I. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Deer Kadaria and I'm a first year computer science student. So one of my favorite creators that goes by the name Matt Diavella made a video a few days ago, which in case you haven't watched it, I'll link it up in here and also down in the description. In that video, he talked about a simple productivity system. So I thought that was kind of interesting. He got the views. So let's just make the video by ourselves, and that's the reason here we are. So this is my simple productivity system and starting off you need five things for building a productivity system and here they are. The first one being a note taking app, the second one being a project management app, the third one being a to do list, the fourth one being file management slash a cloud storage of some sort and finally the fifth one being a calendar. So let's just get started with the note taking app. The note taking app that I use goes by the name Obsidian and I mainly use it for PKM which starts for personal knowledge management. I know that sounds a bit fancy. I basically use Obsidian for building up my second brain. I know that just makes me sound like a mad scientist of some sort but I'll explain what I mean by that. The idea here is that all of the information that you have really consumed in your life, whether it's in the form of books, listening to audiobooks, podcasts, or watching videos like this on the internet, which are educational in some sort and have something valuable to share, you know, you can just dump in all of those ideas in your second brain inside of a note taking app digitally. You can store them. And then over these years, you can just review them and sort what's valuable and what's not. But if you don't do that, you'll just watch a content and just things will go over your head because our brain is a dumbass. It doesn't have any recalling capability. It just basically forgets things even faster than you really think about. It just basically forgets things really fast. So you should have a proper note taking system for remembering everything. So here's how my second brain really looks like. So here's how my second brain really looks like. Uh, inside of obsidian you have like this crazy graph view and here are all the files i know it looks like a bit weird but this app obsidian is like really based on zettel Kasten, which is something that i can like really talk about in detail i'll probably make a video about like getting started on obsidian and doing everything inside of that but at least for this video i won't be touching that topic so inside of obsidian you have like this really crazy graph view and in case you haven't noticed like the mechanism behind this is when you're putting things like dumping things inside of that, the things are connected in the way the neurons in our brain are connected. So it's easy to memorize and just navigate and move around and do a bunch of stuff. And like you may ask, what is the use of doing all of that? Uh, really the use of doing all of that is the fact that, you know, in case you're consuming YouTube videos like this one and you learn something new, but of course our brain is a dumbass, so it will just forget everything in just a matter of few days. So when you just dump everything that you learned from that video, let's say for example, you have that value captured inside of this app, which will digitally be there forever. So in 20 years time, I think my graph view might as well look this massive or even this massive. I don't no, but the use of that would be for example let's say i want to make a youtube video about for example productivity so what i'll do is i'll just go to the search bar and right here type productivity i already did just to show you guys and even at this point i have mentioned productivity like four times even though i haven't really been using obsidian for like the longest time ever because i only have like used obsidian for like 25 30 days at this point but still see i have mentioned it for like four times so for example let's say i did the same thing for about a year and now when i search the word productivity i just type it on my keyboard and hit enter 500 times it just pops up so what i can do is just look at all the things where productivity is mentioned and just study them and just make a video out of that so it's so easy for me then so number two project management so i've been working on project management for quite a while now so the app that i use for it goes by the name notion and if you haven't heard about it i don't know where you live probably in a cave so notion has a bunch of pages and it is a really powerful app you can create a database inside of that a table inside of that gallery view a timeline a calendar i mean all sorts of things and by using all of those tools you can create your full-fledged database and as i mentioned a full-blown like project management system so number three jumping onto to-do list i mean the obvious question that you will have in your head is why the heck do you even need to-do list if you have a full-blown project management that you just showed us so the reason why i use a project management and a to-do list is something that i've completely discussed in this video that i'll link it up in here and also down in the description 
you can check it out i have explained everything how i use it why i use it and all sorts of reasons for using that but still anyways i'll be giving you a glimpse of how i use my to-do list and here's how i use it so talking about the to-do list app the to-do list app that i prefer using is tick tick and tick tick is by far the best to-do list app that i've used so far i've even made a video about this you can check it out i'll link it up in here and also down in the description i know in case you would look at my uh, tick tick i have a bunch of deadlines that are overdue and that is the reason because right now in new delhi we are inside a lockdown and because of that i'm just writing everything on a piece of paper that i'm supposed to do i just look at that every morning so i haven't really updated that for like the past two or three days the concept of using this app is just that when you're using for example let's say notion as your project management and all of that good stuff you can actually use that specific information in like bits and pieces and do them just like crush through them easily and here's what i mean by that so let's say for example if you go to the youtube group inside side hustle you guys can see inside the overview by the way i'm just done with this video i might as well check this off so what i really do is just write complete this video and i've even made a template for that i'll show you in a second you have all these items to check off so it's pretty easy to work for example let's say right here i'll go to this drop down menu and right where it says add from template and right where it says complete youtube video template so i'll just click on that so it will be right here as you guys as can see with no date specified so i can just change the name for example complete the productivity system video so you have like as you guys can see you have all of these things you can even add tags to it you can type slash and type high focus right here i can even make it like daily highlight i've added high focus already so i can even add like daily highlight to that and daily highlight basically means the one thing that i would like to get done in for that specific day it is a concept that i learned from ali abdal but anyways so that is how i use it i have done it for different categories for college for my personal stuff from for the side hustle for youtube and everything that i'm doing and i mean yeah it is pretty easy so number four cloud storage so the cloud storage that i use is microsoft's OneDrive, and i have the microsoft 365 subscription on my university account so i have about as much as a terabyte worth of cloud storage and i think it's a lot at least as of now i don't know if i'll continue with that after my four years probably 95 percent i will but anyways this is how i manage all of my files inside onedrive so as far as the cloud storage is concerned the app that i use for that is microsoft's onedrive on my university account i have about as much as a terabyte even more than that i think 1050 gigabytes something like that so i have made all of these folders inside of that so i have this college folder i have all of the stuff inside of that my first semester second semester just files inside of that the books the print documents that i need the results the resume writing and a bunch of stuff my personal information and if i go back i have my personal folder with my name and i have backup of my phone the projects that i'm working and even like ebooks and a bunch of that stuff then inside of video production i mainly have four folders i forgot to mention one is college actually like six but Four of them are the ones that I really keep. So I've specifically shown you like two of them. One is college, one is my personal one. The third is video production. So I have all of my assets that I use for my videos, that is overlays, After Effects titles, things that I've made and a lot of that stuff. And inside the video server folder of 2021, I have all the videos that I've made so far on my channel. And here's a backup for them. They're also on my hard drive, but I like to keep them here as well. So the fifth and the sixth folder are kind of temporary. The the fifth one is transfer folder so in case like this is the thumbnail of a video that i wanted to transfer i don't even know when i wanted to transfer it if i click on properties and hit details you know i wanted to transfer it back on 12th march now it is first may by the time i'm filming this so yeah and then there's a folder which goes by the name this week and this week is also the things that i just want to like stack or like keep them up for the week so there's just a bunch of stuff that is just lying around inside of that i just delete them so there's only this one folder and i'll delete that as well so yeah and and this this week idea i just like kind of stole it from matt dfls video he has this this week's folder inside of his google drive where he keeps the stuff that is like captured by his phone or documents that are important for the next week or so and yeah that is it that is how i manage my 
stuff inside one drive so jumping on to number five that is calendar the calendar that i use is google calendar and it is super simple it is easily available it is available on i think all of your devices and if you have watched my setting a routine for success video which i'll link it up in here and also down in the description i have discussed how i use it to make my routine and schedule things and all of that good stuff but still if you're interested in how i do these things here's a glimpse of that so jumping on to calendar i have made a video about this in detail by the way i probably would have mentioned but this is how i use calendar i have a calendar which goes by the name routine and i have all the set of activities that i do for the day so right here it's side hustle i have been filming videos for <laughs> about as much as like three hours so this is the slot in which I film videos that I'll study, then I'll listen to a bunch of audiobooks in personal development, then a miscellaneous ones, planning, journaling, all of that stuff. So this is how my days really look like. You can press on X to see like four days. You can press W to see an entire week. You can press M to see an entire month. You can press D to see an entire day. And these shortcuts you can also see up in here as well. So this is how I like use Google Calendar. You can add a bunch of events. Let's say for example, you want to meet one of your meet one friend let's say even though there's the pandemic you can't meet anybody in person but let's say so i'll select my calendar i have two of them mainly one is a routine one is my personal one it's not a part of my routine i'll put it inside my personal one then you can mention whether it's an event task or reminder and yeah you can even add a repeat if you choose to meet that specific friend let's say every day or your custom on anything that you would like to do and also in case you don't even have time to meet one of your friends let's say i mean google calendar is pretty smart right where it says find a time you can just click on it and it will find time like see from 3 a.m to 4 a.m i mean it's kind of ridiculous but it does that job so i'll hit cross i'll discard it and yeah that's how i use google calendar so that's it from my side if you're new to this channel my name is deer kataria I make videos about self-help, personal development, how to get ahead in life. And also on top of that, I review books every Monday. So if that's something that you're into, make sure you subscribe. And that's it from my side. I hope you guys like this video. If you made it this far, make sure you guys like the video. That tells me that you're full of energy and you're pumped. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.